today we are at Prome Diabetic College Guwahati Hospital. Uh, we have been running a COVID hospital under the government of Assam since 21st of June. Uh, all of you know uh, the whole world is suffering from this disaster of COVID-19, which has taken shape of a pandemic now and no place is left. In Assam also, in our place, the disease though came late, but now we are equally being disturbed by the disease. And my hospital, that is Government Diabetic College Guwahati 14 Hospital, the government of Assam, along with some other hospitals, have converted this into a COVID hospital. So we have been actively involved in serving the people suffering from COVID-19 uh, since 21st of uh, June this year. And I, Dr. Jyotir Sharma, I was a, I, I, I have served in the past batch of doctors. Uh, we started with six doctors in the first batch. So in the first batch of doctors, I was there. And we served from 21st of June to 27th of June last, uh, last month. And after that, we have, uh, after quarantine, I may again resume duty. Today, I thought it would be very much appropriate as well as necessary for me to demonstrate how some important things related to serving as a doctor, we need to serve the patient, some things which are really important for us. Uh, now, our doctors are even serving in some, apart from government institutes, some private hospitals as well. And they, some basics of the, wearing a PPE kit and how to take out the PPE kit. All these basic things we have been taught from uh, specialists from medical colleges. And now it's our duty also to pass on the information. So today we are making this video so that uh, we can demonstrate how the basic things are done. In the basics, I will just say, uh, most important is how we take protection of ourselves. Like a soldier when going to any encounter, they need a bulletproof vest so that they, they have the personal protection. So we the doctors and the healthcare workers, we, we, we very much need something which will protect us when we are in direct contact with the COVID positive patients so that the virus cannot harm us instead because our life is also important. It's more important so that we can not only serve us but also serve the mankind. So at first, it's our duty to save ourselves. And for that, we need to protect ourselves. And for that, the personal protection kits are here. We call them PPE kits, personal protection kits. With personal protection kits, we, the two terms we associate are donning and doffing. Donning, donning means the procedure where we wear the personal protection the kit to do on donning it has come to do on that is to put on the dress the personal protection kit and doffing to do off to take out the taking out the carefully in the systematic procedure we take out the personal protection kit so today we will try to demonstrate how donning and doffing are done and these are very important steps because any and it, this should never be done in hurry and very if we do not do this properly, there is very much chances that uh, today we will start with our first procedure that is donning. I already said donning means to do on. Uh, this is about how we wear the PPE kit, the personal protection kit, uh, personal protection equipment kit. And so before doing anything, we should, uh, we should be happy that we have uh, all the things we need. We need a basin with uh, water, running water facility, soap, and a towel. We need a mirror so that I can check if I am properly dressed or not. We need the PPE kit. Basically, we, here we have a coverall, the gown. We have shoe covers. Then we have goggles. We have face seals. We need gloves. Importantly, we need the N95 marks. So we have, we have to wear this in a 
1973. Uh, so that uh, our donning procedure is properly done. So before that, uh, we need to have the scarf on. The OT dress we are wearing it under the PP. So I am here with my scarf. Making sure it is properly cut. We should remove everything like wax. Then if any ornament we are wearing, we should take it, take it out. Readings, nothing. I am ready for donning. Yeah, I am properly cut. Uh, my students will be assisting me. Saikun, Dalbar. So first of all, I will wash my hands properly. Again, there are many videos where you can see how to wash hands. So we should have running water, tap water. Warm it into the cold wheel of the wood. Then we have to properly take the soap and make it better. So it is said we should do it for 20 seconds. How much, how it is done, they say the happy birthday to you song. If we sing it twice, then it comes up to be a, around 20 seconds. So we can do it happy birthday song twice, then we do 20 seconds. And about the hand, we should first apply on the palm and the back side. The fingers, the nails. And the wrist. So after 20 seconds, can you on the tip? Then I'll be wearing the soup over. The soup over is again very important because you know the area where we'll be going the red zone. So unless the patient directly cups it, the higher chance of us getting uh, exposure to the virus is through the, from the floor. The virus being very heavy are thought to be on the floor only. So our soup over should be proper. So we also advocate to use two pairs of soup overs. So I made the first pair of soup over now. Before that, I want to describe the shoe I am wearing. So this is a shoe which is waterproof. This is important again because uh, it is advisable to wear shoe in the PPE kit. And at the time of docking, we'll see we have to sterilize the shoes also. So better we use. This type of easily removable shoes, slip-ons, and this is waterproof, so it's easy to clean, easy to sanitize these shoes. So first I'm going to Now we are still not in the red zone, 
So it, it's not necessary to sanitize after every step. Although we have got the sanitizer jar. But that will be necessary when we are doing the doffing. In doffing after every step we should be doing sanitization. Here, as this is not the red zone, it is not that much important. So I put on the suit over. Now next important is how we wear the N95 mask. This is very important. This is the N95 mask. And this is the top portion with the nasal clip. So you have two types of two, two strips, upper strips and lower strip. So first I will hold the marks like this in my hand. Put it on my face. Cover with the face like this. Then the first strip I will put just over my ears. Then the lower strip I will put below the ears. Then there is an adjustable strip is there and likes to adjust, tight it. We should be testing whether is it okay. So I'll the nasal clip I try to adjust with the bridge of the nose so that I don't see there is any leakage of air. Then I can tighten it. Adjust this. There should not be leak of air. You can test this. So this is should not be any leak. Still, we have seen the one problem with PP remains is there is fogging. Too much of fogging in the glass we wear because of leakage of air particles, these vapors. So I, I, I personally like to put some micro pore here so that it doesn't leak. Relax my helper to clip. Just to make it tight so that uh, the glasses they get least of fogging. So microporin and scissor, these are important because any time you see there is any gap in the PP, we have to close it. So what is we need microporin as well as adhesive. Our next step will be to wear the surgical cap. So we have to wear it properly. Take care of the middle. It just cover the ears also. Many a times we do not cover the ears. To cover the ears.
this is mostly covering everything. Many a times we have PT kits where there will be a gap in this portion. So we have to use the adhesive, we have to fix it. And there will be one sticker, just remove this. And we can fix it like this. Again with PP kits, there are different types. So you can see there are some neck strips in some PP kits. So basically we have to cover everything. We have to say everything is covered. Even they say you should jump. It should be very much comfortable. And it should not get torn. You should try it. extending your legs, arms, everything. So that you can see. Because you have to work with this technique. You should check properly. Check properly there is no tear or something. And by any chance inside the red zone, if somehow you get any tear or something, we should not be very much anxious. Just put on 1% sodium hypochlorite solution and directly come for doping. Otherwise, I am done with the cover. Just check if there is any gap. And I have to wear my glasses. Now I up now to see if there is any gap we can cover with the adhesive if I need Especially in the face part, is there any gap? You can fix the uh, microphone thing here. Closing the all the gaps. Mm -hmm. And I will again ask them to take it. Then I use the and wear the outer, because I am wearing two types of shoe covers, I am wearing the outer one. And finally, the outer pair of ropes. It should be covering the extremities of the CP like this. So this is our donning. I am ready to go to the red zone, isolation work. Finally we can also wear the last part that is the safety. Some faces are like this. 
here there is no gap here so sometimes it again causes problem in fogging so many a times we cut it like in this shape small form features you can take out so that air can pass and there is no fogging biomedical disposable bags are there from this they should be auto cleaned and disposed of so after taking out the two cover i take in and it is no harm okay then i remove the outer toxic Without touching the inner box, I'm taking it out. Again, okay. inner side I can touch, outer side I'm not touch. Again, I'll sanitize my. Now I'm left with only one pair of inner box. Then 
Now it starts only the left side. And I can be sitting in the pin chair. Now I am left only with my one pair of gloves and 95 marks and the shoes. Before leaving the room, I will clean the shoes with spirit traps. I told you I have been wearing this one pair of shoes. Doffing, we should not do any hurry. Take full time. We should not touch the things we should not touch. Always remember which side of the gown to touch. I have only inner pair of gloves left. I will take this off before leaving the room. So again, I have one pair of gloves left. For this, I will catch it like this and pull out like this. For this, I will go like this from inside and I will take it out. I think the inner side of the clean side. After this, with only N95 marks in my protection, we'll go out of the room. We'll go out of the room. N95 marks, I'll not be taking it off in the red zone. So here we have a top where we have one percent sodium hypochlorite solution. Here I am dipping my shoes. For 10 minutes, if I dip my shoes, then it will be sterilized. I'm dipping my shoes in the 1% sodium hypochlorite solution. After this, I will wear a fresh pair of gloves. New pair of gloves.
So I'm wearing a new pair of gloves. And with this, I'll be taking out my N95 mask. Again, importantly, this side is full of virus. How do we take out? First, I take hold of the lower stick and I take it like this. Then I have the upper stick. I'll take out like this and put it in the dustbin. Once again, clean my Again, sanitizing my hands. Now I am done with coughing. Next step will be to, I have to go for shower. I will go directly, go like this to the bathroom. I will take shower, preferably warm water and liquid soap. And this cup I will put in a uh, detergent solution for half an hour before they are washed and can be used again. So this was about your our donning and dropping. Thank you.